I'm trying to keep it real, I'm trying to motivate You having them bad days, just cause your model won't I've been through the drama, man, I've been through the playing game So yes, I feel the pain, that's why I made a change So you can do the same This is for the people This is for the people It's your boy, J. Michael, with another V, I, D, E, oh, let's go, let's go, people, your boy, J. Michael, yeah, we about to get a little, we about to talk about fathers, dads, sperm donors. Let's get into that. What is it about women and the fathers of their children? You got the good dads and you got the bad dads, then you just got the sometimey dads, and then you got the dads that that, that benefit, go to their kids when it benefits them. What is it about the good dads that get all the grief, that get all the headache? To get all the drama. What is it about the good dads? Huh? Help, help me understand this. Okay. Women. I'm going to start with the women that got new men in their life and got a kid by somebody. When you got a kid by somebody and you got a new man, you still have to communicate somewhat with the man about your son. You don't put the father against the new man. I don't care if it's just your husband. You don't let them two communicate like they the ones had the baby. Now, if it's concerning that child and if it's something important, y'all communicate. Y'all communicate. But you don't just let that man come into the picture and, and dominate. And you don't talk to the man at all. Everything got to go through him. And that person is not being a man if that person let everything go to him. Because that man is supposed to be a man and say, hold on. Y'all got to take that up. Let me put your baby mama on the phone. Y'all need to discuss that. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I gave you my input, but y'all need to handle that. If it ain't nothing disrespectful or nothing out of line, it shouldn't be nothing wrong with communicating with the mother of your child or the father of your child as long as it's about that child but when you get the person that you that you with doing all the communicating and you ain't saying nothing what something wrong at home something wrong at home to where that person is secure and you scared to communicate with that person because it shouldn't be nothing wrong with communicating with the person you have a child by, long as it's about that child. When it start getting out of hand, it start getting disrespectful, then I can understand your significant other stepping in. But at the end of the day, y'all had that child. Not her, not him. If it's a woman or a man that's, that, that y'all didn't switch to. People can put that mask on all day, all night, every day, and think like they got a Prince Charming. Man, they got this perfect relationship. But behind closed doors, it's hell. Because ain't no way, no way, your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife should be communicating with the person you have the baby with. Unless they want to talk on their own. But when it comes to that child, 
and there's something important about that child, that's when you put that mother or that father on the phone. That's when you become a man. That's when you become a woman. And you say, that has nothing to do with me. That's something y'all have to discuss. Because that's your child. You don't come in and try to interfere. And try to make, make, the, home, <coughs> make the home your home. It's already your home. That's your husband or that's your wife. It's already your home. But that, but that child been in the picture before you even got with this woman. That man or that woman been being the father or mother to that child. But you gonna believe what your wife or your husband say because you don't know that person. So you're quite sure you're going to believe what your wife or your husband say about that person. And that person know it's a lie because that person want to make themselves look good. And that's wrong. And I tell y'all all the time. I tell y'all all the time. You never bad mouth the mother of your child or the father of your child. You never do that. If this a deadbeat or if this a bad mom, the child gonna see. You don't have to give the child a push. You ain't got to plant a seed in the child's head. You don't make that child choose between mommy and daddy. You don't do that. You put the child in a, a, a crazy situation because if that child chose the mama and the mama was lying on the daddy, the mama was lying on the daddy and then the child found out mama was lying on the daddy, but now the child done made a bad, they built a bad relationship with the dad, so now the dad got a little attitude because the dad tried to tell you in so many words because the dad don't bad mouth the mom. That's one thing I don't do. I don't bad mouth my kids' moms to them. Why? Because at the end of the day, that's still my kids' mom. If I, if I laid down with them and had that, ch that, that child, I had some kind of love for them. We wham bam the boogie by bam bam and had a child. So why am I bad mouth now because we ain't together, because we don't get along, because we're not seeing eye to eye? I'm supposed to bad mouth them? Hell no. You don't do that. That's still the child involved in all this. But women don't see it like that. I ain't going to say all women. Some women don't see it like that. Some women got a bad mouth and destroy the dad. They got to put the dad down to the ground. But yet, y'all got another baby daddy that's a dead beat to the end of the earth. And y'all give this nigga the praise. Y'all uplift this dude. Y'all don't give that dude a problem. You don't even say nothing to that dude. Y'all think, oh, uh, he ain't going to do nothing. I don't expect him to do nothing. But the good daddy do everything he's supposed to do. But y'all make it seem like he's not doing nothing. He's not in the child life. He's a deadbeat. He's sorry. He ain't nothing. He's that, just that, woo wop. But yet, he do everything for that child. But y'all want to make, make it seem like to the child, that he don't because you bitter towards that man. You're not happy with that man. So you got a you got a problem with the man. So you trying to make the problem you and that child's problem. Take the child out of it. Just because you got a problem with the man, don't make it your problem with the kid. Leave the kid out of it. Because the one you're supposed to have a problem with, you don't say nothing to at all. At all. And these deadbeats, they, 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 they get away with it. And, and they happy with it. Because they, 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 they study having kids. Six, five, ten, fifteen kids. Knowing y'all ain't taking care of the first two y'all had. But y'all don't care because you, them baby mamas don't give y'all no headache because they know y'all sorry. But the main one y'all got that do everything he's supposed to do, even, even try to help the other kids that's in the house, that ain't his kids, he still help out. But y'all still bad mouthful, still put him down because he said no one time. Now it's the end of the world because why? He, you done got so comfortable, you done got spoiled that you think that's his job. He's supposed to do what he's supposed to do for them other kids. No, he was helping you out. 
but he still got to make sure his child is taken care of. So if he stopped doing for the other kids, that don't make that man a bad dad because he's still attending to his child. So why, why, why get mad? Because you didn't get spoiled. You didn't get accustomed to him doing for that child or them child or them children. You didn't get accustomed to it. Study appreciating it. Now he's a bad guy because he stopped. That don't make him a bad guy because he's still taking care of his responsibility, the child that he had by you. But, but where's those other daddies? Where's those other daddies? He was helping you out much as he can. But where's those other daddies when he stopped doing for the other kids? Now he's the bad guy. He's still attending to his kids. But why is you giving him the grief when he was helping you out? But where's those other daddies? Where's those other daddies? Where they at? Why they not getting called the B word? Asshole, sorry, nothing. Why they not getting that? But the good daddy getting the grief. He did all he could for the other kids. He still got a life he got to live and take care of his child. But then he was, he was trying to take some, some of the pressure off. But you got a custom. You got comfortable. And you forget they want his kids. They want his children. And when he stopped, it was war. You know, Women have to stop. And men, y'all got to step up. And I ain't talking about the good ones that being good daddies. I'm talking about these deadbeats. Y'all got to step up. And y'all wonder why our children acting the way they acting right now. Come on, man. And then you got the men that's in the house with the child. Want to start a war. Want to talk crazy. How you gonna get mad at this man that's talking about this child? That looks stupid as hell. You beefing over another man about this child. Where they do that at? Where that makes sense at? Because you putting yourself in a situation. You why? Because you married to the mama? You in the house with the child? Hey, that's a package deal. But if that daddy's still involved and that daddy's still in that child's life, you let that dude be a daddy. You can't beef with that dude because you buying stuff and paying for stuff. You're in that house. That's a package deal when you with the mama. So of course you're going to do for the child. That's extra. Because if the daddy's still doing, let the daddy do let the daddy do his duties. <sighs> Let the daddy do his duties. You can't get mad because that daddy's doing his duties. If that dude was a deadbeat and, and he ain't never been around, then I can understand you saying something. But before you run your mouth, before you start getting all out of your body, before you start putting that S on your chest and that mother bring that kryptonite out, do your investigation. Just don't believe your significant other. Because that's how stuff starts. That's how people get hurt. You beefing over a child that's not even yours. You speaking about something that's not even yours. Why? Because I pay for this. I do this. I take care of that. I do that here. But at the end of the day, um, Darion still got his dad. His dad do for him. Because that's his dad. His dad might be in a whole other state, but that's his dad. I mean, him might not see out of eye on everything, but when it come to that boy, we ride together. We do what we got to do together. I'm the new dude. He the old dude. He living his life. I'm this life. But at the end of the day, that's my stepson, that's his son. I still have to do my duties as a stepdad. He got to do his duties as a father. So we work together as a team. That's what you do. I don't sit back, oh, what are you doing this and this and that for? Huh? What are you doing that? Uh-uh, uh-uh. You don't talk to that dude. Uh -uh. 
Now, I might say some stuff like, why do you communicate with him if it ain't about Darion? You don't need no reason to communicate with him when it ain't about that boy. Because you don't. That boy's 16. Y'all should have nothing to talk about if that boy ain't in the hospital or that boy ain't hurt. Now, if there's something important, then I can understand that. That boy old enough to communicate himself. That boy old enough to deliver messages himself. That's when you have a problem when they talk it and they don't have no reason to talk. But when they come to that boy, me and his daddy rise together. That's what you, that's what you call co-parenting, and that's what you, that's what you call moving out the way. If I see something wrong, I pick up the phone sometimes and call his dad, hey. Hey man, you need to get on um, Darion. You know he he woo woo. And then if, and if it's something that, that that's real heavy, I can speak on it, but I don't. I tell his mom, and she calls his dad, and they handle that because that's their child. I still say my piece because I'm the stepdad and I am the man of the house, so I say my stuff. But at the same time, I let his dad know because that's still his son and that's his baby mama, so they have to communicate when it's something bad. That's what you call co-parenting and handling your house. <clears throat> you don't get on the phone and be like, oh, no, you better not talk to him at all. Everything you got to say about Darion, you got to talk to me. You got to talk to me. No, you don't do that. That's showing insecurity. That's showing weakness as a man. That's showing you got problems in your home because you don't trust your woman. That's what that means. Because if you can't let your baby mama talk to her, her baby daddy about their child, then you got insecurity problems, plow. Because if it's about that child, that's what it's about, that child. I shouldn't have to stay on the phone. Hey, yeah, dude said this. Oh, yeah, dude said he need to do this. Uh, oh, yeah, we already handled that. Why should I do that? She should be able to talk to him. Understand that women, understand that men that get in a new relationship, when y'all get in a new relationship and it already came with a package, y'all got to know how to balance it, man. Y'all got to know how to balance it. What y'all scared that she going to creep with you? Y'all scared they still sleeping with each other? Help me out here. Because that kid had nothing to do with what goes on between them two. This generation, this generation is messed up. This generation is weak. This generation is selfish. It's a lot of things that go on with this generation that they don't understand what it's about, of, about being a father. They don't understand what it's about to, when, you, when you're not with the father no more, that the father is still in that child life. Just because you hate him, you don't like him, you don't make that child turn against him. You don't do that. It's a lot of kids out there, a lot of children to this day that wish they had their father. You got a lot of baby mamas that wish they had a man that was taking care of their child. If it wasn't the baby father, they wish they had that in the house. Like I said, I still got kids out here that I ain't with their mamas no more. But they still call me daddy to this day. Because I left an impact. Because it's, it's, it's more to being a daddy. It's more to being a father than just donating nothing. It's a lot, man. Yeah, your kids get on your nerves sometimes, but then your children. You once upon a time was a child. You got on your parents' nerves. You got on the neighbor's nerves. You got on your auntie's nerves. You got on your grandparents' nerves. You got on your friend's nerves. You got on your cousin's nerves. You got on your brothers and sisters' nerves. But that's the price of being a kid. But when you grow, you got to take care of your kids as a man. As a man. You can't get mad at the mama because she ain't giving you the woo-woo no more. Oh, you ain't giving me the woo-woo no more. Huh, I don't even want to come around. You can't get mad. You can't call the baby mama up like, what you doing, girl? Uh, yeah, what the, uh, can I come over? But you ain't said nothing about the child. Or you thinking his body's getting your slightest lane wet. But you got a child upstairs sleep. Or you got a child in the back sleep. Or you got a child on the couch sleep. But since she said she don't want to give you no booty, oh, I got to go. But not once did you inquire about that child. 
You only want to be daddy when it's convenient for you if you can get some booty. If she said come and get some booty, you over there quick and, and, and now you faking bouncing the child on your knee because you know you're about to get your meat wet. It ain't about that child. It's about your slinger line. Where these real men at? Got to step it up. Our children need us. And women, y'all need to stop putting us down. Y'all know the good ones. Y'all know the bad ones. Because you, cause, cause, cause you mad at him, stop putting him down. Just don't say nothing about him. You ain't got a bad mouthful. You ain't got to do that. Fathers are human. Just because we are men, we still have feelings. We're not superheroes. We're not superheroes. Y'all might think we superheroes. Y'all might think we invincible. But we have feelings too. Our feelings get hurt. Our feelings get broke. Especially when you know you're doing what you're supposed to do as a father. We human. We make mistakes. We might miss some things sometimes. We might can't do things all the time. But that don't make us less of a man. That don't make us less of a father. Because we can't provide all the time. Sometimes we got to take care of our household to where our money gets short. And just because that father said no, just because that father didn't come through that time, don't make that man a bad dad. But what about the one that don't never come through? What about the one that don't come around? What about the one that don't even acknowledge you? What about that one? What about that one? But y'all want to give the one that's trying. Y'all want to give the one that's around. Y'all want to give the one that's going to do what he's supposed to do for his child. Y'all want to give them the grief. Y'all want to give them the hell. Y'all want to throw the envy on their head. But not the one that don't come around. Not the one that don't try. Not the one that don't even acknowledge you. Help me understand that, women. Leave the comments. Leave the comments. Help me understand that. Why do the good fathers... Get the grief and the headaches and all the lip. Help me understand that. Because we don't have a lot of good fathers out here. And then some of the good fathers can get so tired that they ran away because they tired of going through the drama. So they just gave up. I know it's hard. I know it get on your nerves. I know it get rough. But you don't never give up on your child, dog. Never. You just got to find a way to handle that storm. But you don't put your child to the side. Because you got some over there evil. Because God is going to always protect us. God is going to always help us rise. To us, it might not look at it because we looking through the human eye. But we ain't looking through the spiritual world. But God going to always be there. We just got to know how to see it. We just got to know how to believe it. We got to have the faith. So you don't give up on that baby. I don't care how hard the devil make it. I don't care how hard the devil make you do what you can't see it and make the hurdles hard to jump over. Because God going to give us that power. God going to give us that strength to where we can handle anything. Because God ain't going to give us nothing that we cannot handle. You got to fight for your child. Our children need us. And y'all ignorant mothers out there that's stopping these men from being daddies, stop it. Just because y'all have a problem and you can't stand him, stop it. Let that man be that father. Let him. And the ones that ran away and they coming back trying, stop being bitter. Stop having hatred towards him and let him try. Because sometimes people make a mistake and then sometimes God puts stuff in their face and they realize the mistake and now they want to try. People do change. People do change. You can't keep holding their past against them. People do change. And sometimes you have to give them a little lead way to see that change. You got to. Because a lot of our children are messed up. 
And a lot of our men feel that they got a daughter that they can't raise a daughter. Oh, that's a girl. You can teach them how to be tough when they come to men. You can teach them how when, when men try to spit game. A father isn't even, even when y'all got parents in separate houses. In separate houses. Y'all still can co-parent. And if y'all got another significant other, they need to understand that. They need to accept that. They don't have to be jealous. Because if you trust your woman, if you trust your man, you shouldn't have nothing to worry about. Right or wrong? Come on now. Nah. I'm going to keep it real. The real you man's way. You know what I'm saying? Our children is hurting. Our children want to be loved. Our children just don't want you to come over and drop no Jordans off or, or drop some outfits off or drop a new bike off or drop a PS5 off or dress an ox, a Xbox 10 off. They want time. Yeah, they love all that stuff. They love it. But they love your time more, fathers. They love your time more. They want to hear that. I love you, son. They want to hear that. I love you, daughter. They want to hear that. They want to, they, they want that hug. They want you to be at them games. They want you to be at them recitals. They want you to be at them plays. For they can say, that's my dad. That's my dad. Everybody else dad sitting there, but they dad not. They mama there. They grandparents there. Sometimes it even be the uncle or the auntie. But it's nothing. It's nothing like your daddy. Sitting in that audience. It's nothing like your daddy saying, All right, that's what I'm talking about. I'm proud of you. It's nothing like a father's love. It's nothing like a father's push. It's nothing like a father's encouragement. That's what your father's not understanding. Y'all deadbeats. I ain't talking to the good ones, I'm talking to y'all deadbeats. Y'all wasn't saying that when y'all was all up in the woo-woo. Y'all wasn't saying that when y'all was letting up me when y'all was when they was talking to the microphone. Everything was good. Then you get that. Oh. You know what? I'm pregnant. Hey, you ain't pregnant by me. What you mean? You the only person I slept with, huh? Yeah, I had a condom on. Hey, you know the condom, bro? Uh, uh, that ain't my baby, click. But you weren't saying that when you was... <laughs> you weren't saying that when all that was going down. Then the baby come looking, not, come and looking just like you. And you still got an excuse. But you the type of dude that, as long as she giving you the booty, you gonna be play daddy. But when she stopped giving you that booty, UPS dropped the package off and left. You see what I'm saying? Our children need us, men. Our children need us, men. I, again, I don't care how evil or demonic or crazy your baby mama is. You find a way to be in that child's life. You find a way to do for your child. You find a way to spend time with your child. You don't let the devil come in nothing and stop nothing that God put in place. I've been through it. I know it's a headache. I know the drama. I know the pain. I'm feeling it to this day. When I got all my kids except one, talking about daddy, you ain't did this and did that. But not once did I say, yo, mama, this and this and that. Hey, that's how my kids feel. That's how my kids feel, because that's what they was poisoned with. That's what they was poisoned with. But I'm not gonna sit there and try to try to try to convince them and try to try to speak up for myself when I know the truth. Deep down in my kids' heart, they know the truth. But if they want to peg me as the bad guy, then I'm gonna be that bad guy. But I know, God know. So if they feel I'm the bad guy, then so be it. But I'm still not going to downplay my kids' moms. Because I love them enough to have kids by them. I'm going to love them enough to keep that respect. You get what I'm saying? 
Just because I'm not with them no more, I'm not going to disrespect them. I might be in the house mumbling, talking stuff amongst myself, venting to myself. I might call my mommy a vent to my mama. But I'm not going to badmouth my kids' moms to my kids. I'm not going to do that. And y'all women shouldn't do that. Do not make a child choose between their parents. Never. And fathers, step up and be a dad, be a father to those kids. Them children need you. And then you wonder why when you come around, they disrespect you. They, they talking crazy to you. They don't want to be bothered with you. Go look in the mirror. And then another one. The fathers that do for their stepkids and don't do for their own kids because they with the mom so they feel this is my house forget my kids come steal your kids too ah. you gotta love them both you gotta love them both it's nothing different kids are kids kids ain't choose their parents and kids don't choose who their mom or daddy get with after they break up with the mother or father kids don't choose that so the kids shouldn't have nothing to do with that so the kids shouldn't have to get played them still your children these your stepchildren so you love them and you do for them you don't cut your kids off because you're in the house with the step kids now you don't do that now i'm gonna keep it real the really best way come on now it's a lot of kids hurting and it's a lot of fathers hurting good ones we hurting we sad we crying inside again we're not human beings we're again we're not superheroes we're not invincible we have feelings they do get hurt we do cry. Y'all might not see it, but we do cry. Because we love our children to the max, to the end of the world. If they was to call me now and say, your daughter need a heart and she finna go. When my baby wake up, just tell her her daddy love her. And I'm always beating inside her because I'm a part of her now. Same with my sons. They need my heart, they gon' get it. Just say I love them. And I miss them. Because I love my children. To the max. It's nothing I won't do for my children. I get depressed sometimes and stressed out. Because you get, you, 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 you feel some type of way when people try to peg you as this person and you know you're not that person. It bothers you because they don't they, they think they think we invincible because we are men. We are human just like y'all women. We have feelings just like y'all women. So the men that's out there is trying, try harder. The men that ain't doing nothing, y'all need to start stepping up, start coming back around. Because y'all missing the precious moments. Y'all missing it. And then when that child becomes successful, now y'all want to come around to my, that's my daughter, that's my son. It's too late now. And then y'all got these fathers that ain't never been there, but now they child grown. Now you want to be daddy. It's nothing to do now. They grown. You missed all the hard part. You missed all the fun part. You missed all the, the cherished moments. But now you want to be daddy because they grown? That's sorry, that's sad, that's dumb, that's stupid. You got daddies like that too. That want to be daddy when the child become grown and independent. And then they want to come with that, you know, just give me a chance to be daddy. You know, I messed up. So can, can we start now? Yeah, it's easy to start now. I'm grown. You don't have no, really no responsibilities. Come on. But where you was at when I really need you? When I was little coming up, where you was at? You gotta watch out for those fathers too. Y'all need to stop playing them games. 
I need to stop playing with it. And then what about the fathers that get a new woman and then he want to come get his child, his, his daughter or his son and, and, and bring him around the new girl and be like, yeah, to, to make it seem like he's a good daddy to the new girl. You got to watch out for those ones too. You know. Good daddies, continue to do what y'all need to do for y'all child. Even if it's a bad situation, still continue to be daddy. Still continue to be father. Because God going to see you through it. And the ones that's not doing nothing, y'all need to start doing something. J. Michael Wilde.